Hi children. Good morning. How are you, Tiffany? Yes. Welcome back to our session. So, what is our topic, children? It's the food. Where does it come from? So, in the last class, we have seen about the food uh, materials and also the sources. So, today's class, we are going to learn about the plant parts and animal products as food. Plants. Plants means immediately will have a glance of a plant. That is the root, stem, leaves, and also flowers, fruits. Is it? In a plant, which part we are going to take it as a food, children? Yes, it's the fruit. But for the some plants, we are going to take it as the root also and leaves also. Is it? So for a plant. Two or more edible items. That is, the edible items will be having for a plant. Can we take one example? Yeah, that is the mustard plant. Which type of plant is that? Mustard. Have you heard about this? Yes. So, in this mustard plant, where we use that seeds, children? Yes. So, while preparing the sambar, the starting after keeping the oil, we keep small, small brown color seeds. Is it? Yes, that itself we call it as the mustard. That seeds we are going to use in the cooking purpose, and leaves also we will prepare as the curry leaves. It will be very tasty. That this mustard seeds will be used as oil. That one only we call it as the mustard oil. See, in one plant these many edible items we are having. Children, can you take few examples like this? Uh, which plant? Will be having the more eatable items. I can give the another example as the banana. Have you seen the banana tree? Yes. So in that banana leaves, that means we are going to use to eat the leaves. That means the eatable items will be kept on that for that purpose we use. Then have you seen the banana uh, flower? That is also will be used in the cooking purpose. Then banana we are going to. Eat it. So, in one plant, so many eatable items we can use it. Then, have you seen the chana dal or moong dal? The green color, small small seeds will come, no children? Yes, that one. Uh, that one, like that only, we can take it. Or, if you want to keep our body strict and if you want to get more proteins and nutrition food, what we have to do for that means. So that chana dal or the moong dal in a cup. So take a cup, add the dal, pour the water, soak it for four to five minutes. After that, pour the water, take the dal in a cloth, tie that cloth which it is present the dal in that. Keep for overnight. Then morning. We can observe a small white color which it is present on that seeds. Can you guess what is that? Yes, those are the sprouts. What we call for that? We call it as the sprouts. Sprouted one. So sprouts. Sprouts is very very good for health children. We have to take that which it has come the sprouts of that seeds. That is also one of the eatable item. Eatable item. That is the food item which we are going to take from the plants. Is it? Yes. Like this, you can give more examples which the pulses or the grains which we can take it as the sprouts. Then we will go for the animal products. Animal products means always we should not go for that. What is that egg or chicken or mutton? Here, have you heard about the honey bee? Yeah, honey bee. What this honey bee will do? It sucks the honey from the flowers. That means it is going to take the honey from the flowers which it is present, and it is going to have a honey beehive. What we call for that? Beehive. Have you seen children? The beehive in that it is going to nectar. So all the bees will be preserve the honey in that beehive. 
So, what will you do for that? We are going to collect that honey. Wow, it will be very tasty. Is it or not? Yes. So, that honey is the natural thing. If you have tasted, ah, very sweet. Than that, there is no sweet at all. So, from the animals as a product, we are going to get the honey bee. Is it? Then, have you seen the squirrels? What does that squirrels will eat? Small, small nuts and on the trees, small, small fruits, it will be taken. Then what about these birds like crows, pigeons, children? These also will be taken the grains. Small, small grains will be taken. That means different types of animals will be taken the different types of food. But here, the animal products are the food. Which the animal products we are going to eat is nothing but we have taken the example as the honey bee, which we are going to collect from the beehive. But what does the animal eat? That means the squirrel or the birds, still some other animals like the tiger, cheetah, elephant, deer, these and all animals, what they are going to eat. So for this we want to classify. Already in your previous classes, this classification we have seen. Once again, let me take the glance about these types of animals. Yeah, according to the animals and their food habits, we have classified into herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. What do you mean by herbivores? The animals which eat only plant or plant products. We call it as the herbivores. What are the examples for that? Cow, buffalo, bee. Reminding. So, we are having these animals as the herbivores animals. Then only plant eating animals are there? No. Flesh eating animals also are there. So, the animals which eat other animals is known as carnivorous animals. So, example, tiger. It's a lion. These are all examples for our carnivorous animals. Then, both animals and also plant and the plant products. Plants products as well as the animals and the flesh eating animals we call it as the omnivorous animals. These animals which eat both plants and animals are known as omnivorous animals. Example, it's the crow, bear and bee. That means human beings also will come under the omnivorous. Is it children? Yes. So, by this we are going to complete our session. Before going to complete, let me go for our home task. Is it children? Get ready for our home task. Yeah, here sure. it is your home task. So here, name of the animal, food the animal eat. I have given two examples for you. Cat. Cat eat, birds, flesh, milk, still some other. So, no need to write all the items. Just to write two or three items which that animal will eat. Next, buffalo. I have given here grass, grains, plants, leaves. These are all the buffalo will eat. So, I have mentioned only two. Now, what you have to do? Here I have given some animals. That is rat, lion, butterfly, human beings. Human beings. So, what is the food item? It is taken by these animals you have to mention. So, this is about your home task 1. Let me go for home task 2. Here, let me see the plant. So, we know the parts of the plant. It's the root and stem is there, leaves are there, flowers are there and also we are having the fruit. Is it? So, few of the parts. That means in this plant we are going to eat only the fruit. 
so here are the sprouts children sprouts means for the seeds that means so good seeds it will get small small roots this one only we call it as the sprouts it's very healthy food next uh, we have talked about the honey bee hive see children how the honey bees are keeping the honey in that hive it's very super na yes so see how many honey bees are there so ah uh, in that the honey will be very tasty for us next let we see the herbivorous animals that means plant eating animals so these are the examples that means how many animals we are having here yes this and all comes under the herbivorous animals these are carnivorous animals so tiger lion cheetah these are all examples for carnivorous that means flesh eating animals next last that is the omnivorous animals so these are the examples for omnivorous animals here this is your home task 2 here i have mentioned the herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous i given one example also children herbivorous means cow carnivorous means lion omnivorous means crow so like this you have to collect the animals which is the herbivorous which is the carnivorous which is the omnivorous at least five i think you are ready to collect the information this is your home task children. so by this let me end up our session thank you children